Today we are going to give, we want to discuss about the costs of producing producing satin paints. This is an important class that you need to know, you need to concentrate on. We are going to be discussing the costs of producing a 20 liter satin paint. How much is going to cost you to produce a 20 liter satin paint? So, before you decide like how much is going to cost you to produce 20 liters of uh, satin paint, there are some information that are very, very important when you are planning to produce certain paints. So, you need to know the cost of uh, chemicals in the market. Cost of chemical in the market. Cost of chemical in the market are the current price of chemical in the market are one, you need your titanium dioxide This is about 4,300 Naira for quality Titan. We have the China Titan, we have Russian Titan, and this one is a Kronos. That's the current price of Kronos. It's one of the best tire, titanium dioxide. China, Russian, titanium, they are good. But this is the one I use for my production. We have some other upper grade one. Then the next chemical you need is your acrylic. Acrylic is about 1,300 naira per kg. This per kg, this is per kg. Then you need your natrozole. You need your natrozole. Natrozole is a 7,500 naira per kg. What do you need again? You need your, let me check my records. You need your Tezanon. Tezanon now is about 4,000 Naira per kg. You need your Jennifer. You need your Bufa. You need your Carbon. What do you need again? You need carbon, you need your preservatives. You need formalin, ammonia. I think these are the chemicals you need to produce certain paint. Jennifer is about 1,000 per kg. No. It's not 1,000, it's about 500 naira per kg. Your buffer is uh, between 700 per kg. Carbon is 1,200 naira per kg. Preservatives, formalin, 1,000 per kg. Ammonia, 1,000 per kg. Preservatives, about 1,200 naira per kg. So, for you to know the cost of uh, producing your paint, you need to know cost of your chemical. Before you endeavor on any project, like now you want to do a project and you have the project that you are buying, the sat you, are, you, are, you are proposing a certain bucket, 20 liters of 40,000 naira for the project. So, this is what we are working on. Before you produce or you want to give quotation or you want to produce any paint, you need to know your selling price and you need to know your cost price, what you want to work with. Now, my budget of my production is 30,000 Naira. This is my budget plan. And this is how much I want to sell. Because in this is my selling price. There are some factors that we still need to, but 
you need to know your budget. Okay, I want to make 10,000 naira from this project. I want to make 15,000. I want to make 5,000 naira. Okay, let's work on this budget first. Okay, let's work on 35,000 naira as our production costs. Under this 35,000 naira, you need to consider your transportation from where you are from your home to where you are buying your chemical and coming back and transportation to the site. So another thing that you must put into consideration is your bucket. It's also part of your production. Bucket is one of the expensive chemical now. At point expensive uh, material in paint production is about two thousand to two thousand five hundred naira per bucket now. So now how do you now determine cost of producing a certain paint white on a budget of 35,000 naira? And if you are using our formulation of uh, 3 kg, 10 kg, 0 0.25, 0 0.125 gram, 0 0.5 kg, this one is about 50, 50 gram, 0 0.05 gram, carbon 0 0.03 gram, preservative 0 0.04 gram, 0 0.04 gram, 0 0.04 gram. If you are on this budget, let's calculate how much it's going to cost us to produce 20 liters of a certain paint. Now, Let's stretch our handle to get the cost of producing this certain paint. Now, we have our titanium dioxide to be 4,300 naira times 3. This one is a 12,900 naira. Then we have acrylic to be 1,300 naira times 10. It's about 13,000 naira. So, our Natozo is a 7,500 naira. 7,500 times, times 0.125. This is in kg. Sorry. Right? This one's to in kg. Kg. Kg, kg. Point one two five times. Point one two five times. Seven thousand five hundred naira. That's nine hundred and thirty-seven naira. Tezano is a point five or four thousand, which is two thousand naira. Jelly pour, that's 50 gram of 500 naira. That's 0 0.05 times 500. That's 25 naira. So, when you are producing paint, you need to consider so many things. All this is 5 naira, and they are very, very important when you are producing paint because it's part of your cost of production. I've seen so many people producing paint, they will just pour. They will just be using their hand, and when they determine, when they are talking about the cost of producing their paint, they will talk, uh, I spent uh, 20,000 naira. Because all these 20 naira, 25 naira, 30 naira, they are some expense you are putting out that is not making you to make money in production. So, all these are also money that you are losing. So, we have our buffer to be 700 naira per kg, which is uh, now going to be. 0 0.05 times 700. That's 35 naira. We have uh, carbon, which is 1,200 times, I think let's use 0 0.5 here, 50 gram times 0 0.05. We have 16 naira. We have preservative of uh, 40 gram, that's 0 0.04 points. Is 1200 now? We have about 48 now. Let's see, you can increase the preservative. 
it depends on your choice. If you are going to use it on site, all these are not important, but let's add it on the standard. We have it as uh, 50 naira. We have formalin. Formalin of 40 grams, that's 40 naira. We have ammonia, 40 naira. So, bucket 2,500 naira. What other thing do we need? This is the cost of the power buying the materials needed. Then we need air. Uh, now let's talk about other miscellaneous, other material, other expense. For one bucket, maybe your expense, you, you will transport from home to go and buy chemical. That's transportation. That's transportation costs. To buy chemical, maybe your transportation cost to and fro is like 1,200 naira. What are that thing? Water. Maybe when you are producing, you spend money to buy water or you have a free water. Let's put that as I. Water. Water is conditional. What other thing? Power or oh, this is a bucket. But if you are producing in large quantity, like you are producing in batch, when you want to produce like 10, 15, you need human labor, you need water, and you need to pay for a space when you are producing. So all this will also be included when you are producing. So let's work with all this and your transportation. So now we had our transportation, which is 1,200 naira. So let's calculate this and see how much we're able to arrive at. So we have 12,900 plus 13,000 plus 937.5 plus 2,025 naira, 35 naira, 60 naira, 50 naira, 80 naira, 2,500 naira, 1,200 naira. So we have it to be 32,787.5. Approximately, let's say we spend 33,000 naira to produce this white satin paint. And we are selling the paint for 40,000 naira. This is the first price. This is the cost price and this is the selling price. Please, are we making a business? Are we doing a business when you are doing this kind of production? This is a business. At least, if I should differentiate 40, I'm making a profit of 7,000 naira on a bucket. If I have a project like I have projects like uh, I have to use like five bucket that means I'll make 35,000 there and the higher the quantity the higher the profit this is where the company those companies producing a large quantity are making their profits this is where they are really making their profit because they are producing a large quantity this is why don't produce your paint compare with the, uh, with the Big company because we are competing with big company you can never make the kind of profit they are making because if the company are producing in batch they, they are producing 100 buckets of paint of this certain paint in batch and they measure all this chemical produces they get when this chemical is coming out from their production batch they arrive Sometimes they arrive at 104 buckets. Some they arrive at 105 buckets. The secret is in our next class. So you can't get it now. So when you're producing paint, don't never compare yourself with those big names in the industry. You have to consider how you are going to survive making quality paint and making 
quality profits, reasonable profits. So you need to consider those two when you are producing your paints. Yes, can I help you?